What's up everybody, John here, and Disney Plus has just dropped the official trailer for The Acolyte. And The Acolyte, I'm, I'm looking forward to this because it's another Star Wars series coming to the Disney Plus streaming service. And so far, you know, I've been enjoying a lot of the Star Wars projects that's been on Disney Plus. I've enjoyed, for the most part, Mandalorian. I've enjoyed Andor, especially the second half. And I also have been enjoying Ahsoka. And so with uh, Alkalite, we'll see where this goes. And without further ado, let's check out the trailer for the Alkalite. All right, here we go. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. Be you one with the force. Then why have eyes? Tell me what comes into your mind. It's Lee! Squid Game! Life. Oh, Young Ling. I see fire. Uh oh, uh oh. Carry and Moss! <laughs> Oh, that's a good good casting for her because I loved her in the Matrix. Someone is this June. Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? A Wookiee! Nope. This is about power, and who is allowed to use it? Everyone. What is that? <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> that ending. Something about that. That was crazy. Disney Plus. Oh yeah. So the first two episodes of The Alkalite is going to premiere on Disney Plus on June 4th. So we get two episodes. And here's a synopsis for this. It's uh, in Star Wars The Alkalite. An investigation into a shocking crime spree pits a respected Jedi Master, Lee jung Jai, against a dangerous warrior from his past, Amanda Stenberg. As more clues emerge, they travel down a dark path where sinister forces reveal all is now what it seems. And so you had a series stars, Amanda Stenberg, Lee Jung Jae, uh, Manny Jacinto, Daphne Keene, Charlie Barnett, Jodie Turner-Smith. You have Rebecca Henderson, Dean Charles Chapman. You have Junas uh, Soitamo and Carrie Ann Moss. Carrie Ann Moss in this, just watching her, she was like, this is one of the best parts in the Matrix in terms of like just going all in and just her performance and really kicking ass. And so I'm happy to see her in a Star Wars project here. Once again, you can see her kicking ass and uh, she looks legit. So she's got that fierce fierceness to her, which I like. So Leslie Headland, she's the creator of the show and she's directing episode one and two. And then you have directors... Koganada directing episode three and seven, and then you have Alex Garcia Lopez with four and five. You have Hanel Culpepper with six and eight. What makes this really interesting, the Alkalite, I think they're not tethered to any of the popular modern Star Wars projects because this takes place a hundred years before the events of the Phantom Menace. This is like the end of the High Republic, and this is just pretty much at the height of the uh, the Jedi Order. And you can see plenty of younglings here. And we get this. It's just going to be cool just seeing the Jedi do what they do best at the height of their power. Just, you know, protecting. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, for sure. That means we won't be seeing characters that we know and love. Maybe we'll see Yoda because Yoda. Yoda has lived a long life. Uh, I believe at the end of the uh, original Star Wars films, he was 900 years old. I, I think like with that, with this time, Yoda, we, we have to see Yoda in one shape or another because he's very pivotal. And I'm pretty sure even 100 years before Phantom Menace, he's still an important figure 
in, in the, you know, in the Jedi Council or in the Jedi Order. And you, yeah, you have to have that. And so with this, with this show taking place 100 years and uh, they can really be free to explore different storylines, different characters and uh, audiences, I think, like when we're watching this, we'll we're, we're just be... You know, we'll just know certain things like, oh, you know, Jedi uses lightsabers. Uh, you know, there's the Force and there's the Jedi Order. And they're protecting they're protecting the Republic. So what sinister stuff can happen here? And uh, who's going to be out there just causing havoc, wreaking havoc to the Jedi? Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the show, seeing... The the High Republic, the end of the High Republic, before its downfall, and then you know, we have the Phantom Menace, and then with the Emperor, and then the the Empire. So yeah, let me know what you think about the trailer on the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to this channel, click that notification bell. Uh, with that, I will see you guys next time.